Hello, my name is Jeff Peters and I'm an academic advisor in the College of Sciences here at UNLV. I'm with Dr. Daniel Acera. He is a math faculty here at UNLV. And we're going to ask Dr. Acera some questions to help give you advice on to be a, what you need to do to be a successful student. Um, Dr. Dr. Acera, what skills are students going to learn as math majors? Well, I, I think that in addition to the the math skills that they learn, I, one of the things that we try to encourage them to to learn is to um, learn how to think more rationally and logically uh, while they're doing their their math homework, for example. And I think that that, that thinking logically and rationally helps them to organize their thoughts better, which will help them in not only in math, but also in their other classes, and, and probably in their life and careers as well. Okay. Um, what career fields can math majors go into? Well, uh, not surprisingly, a lot of uh, our graduate students, for example, who get their master's and doctoral degrees here at UNLV, go on to become faculty at other educational institutions. Uh, so a large number of, of, of our graduates do become teachers in that sense. Um, but we also have, there's a big demand for uh, statisticians and, and analysts and people who work with numbers and who are proficient in analyzing the numbers and collecting data and <laughs> things of that sort. So there are a lot of opportunities nowadays because many businesses for example, are um, are always looking for people who can analyze their their data and their statistics to to see what direction, what improvements they can make in their business. Okay, okay. Um, we, we all know math is a tough subject sometimes for students. What are your recommendations on how students should study for math? Well, the uh, psychologists here at, at UNLV have determined that many students have. Um, a challenge in what they call math anxiety. So uh, once they, if, if they do have that problem, once they can get over that, uh, I think that the best thing they can do is to attend uh, all of their lectures as much as possible. And number two, uh, do their homework. And doing their homework is good practice for learning the course material, which they should do for all their classes anyway. Exactly, yes, exactly. So what, what, what activities outside of class do you recommend students get involved in? We have a, uh, an organization called uh, Pine Butte Epsilon, which is a math uh, fraternity for math majors primarily. Um, and there are other activities that are related to math, like Pi Day, P-I Day. <laughs> I mean, the kids have fun with that. So uh, there are a lot of things that, that are related to math. And, and as you know, there's a, um, a big shortage of math and science teachers uh, in the K through 12 system. And so uh, if any students are interested in becoming teachers at that level, that's an area I think they should pursue becoming a teacher down the road. Okay. So. And just any last pieces of advice you would give students? Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, math is, is something that, that students wonder many times in their math class why they're taking math. And I try to relate to them that math is all pervasive throughout their whole lives. Um, and they may not realize it or appreciate it um, every day or initially, but math will come in handy in just about everything that you do from, from buying a home and trying to calculate your mortgage payments and things of that sort. Uh, and just everyday you know, shopping, for example, sometimes it, it helps to, to, to have good math skills. So. Okay. Well, thank you again, Dr. Sarah. And we'll send students to you if they need any help. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>